So now that we know how to change our model, at least the basic parts, we'll get into details about doing some more complex things. What else do we need to know? Well, there's a few more files in here, but I only want to focus on index, model, and the last one is the controller file right now. So let's um, go back to index. Now, if you remember, when we looked at index, it has a slash saying that when you hit the employees slash with nothing else, with a get request, you're going to hit something called controller.index. Now the controller file is pointed out right here. Notice that I'm still using the required term, but now I'm doing a dot slash employee.controller. And that actually tells you that you have to look for a file called employee.controller.js inside the same folder that you're in with this file that you're looking at right now. Okay, so something in here is going on. Let's go to that file and see where it is. Notice that it says controller.index. Let's go to the controller and see what's actually here. There's a lot of code here. Let's just start by pointing that out. But what I'm showing you now is the most important part. Right here, it's we have some Lodash. Lodash is a library of utilities that we can use to merge uh, JavaScript objects, to work with arrays, a lot of great utilities. That's the Lodash. Another JavaScript library that we, we're using here. Now, uh, what else do we have? We have something called employee that's actually referencing the model that I just talked about before. So it's actually here we have employee and that's actually pointing to the schema right here. Okay, what else do we have? We have a few helper methods here, just basic functions that we'll be using as we scroll down. So these guys will be used for each of our different methods that I will show you, like handle an error, response with a result, uh, handle entity not found, what will we do then? Um, save updates, remove entities. There's some basic functions here that we'll use as we scroll down. Now the, the export part of the index actually tells me that somebody from outside my class can use this one to, in this case, call an index with a request and a response, okay? So this is where we're passing on what we're getting from here using behind the scenes express. And remember, it had a request and a response object. We're actually passing that using this get callback. We're passing that request and response object to this index right here that's shown in here. Okay, I know it's a complex thing, but we'll figure it out. So here we're using the model this guy right here we're using him and bluebird if i go back to the model you'll see there's also something here called bluebird we're using that to say find all employees inside the database that's what the find async does i'll try and open mongoose in the next lesson and explain some more complex ones i just want to understand the controller for now and then we say when that is done response with the result okay so if i go back up that method was actually up here, respond with the result, and that calls a function that returns something saying everything went okay and return the entity that it created as JSON. If something goes wrong, then it'll handle the error with the response. And what that means is if something is not working, you'll actually get an entity, uh, you, sorry, you'll get an exception. So we have handle error here, the response, we set a status code of 500, and then we send an error back to the client. But what you need to understand now, the most important thing, because we'll dig into this in the next lessons, the most important thing now to understand is that this is how these guys talk together. We have the index, he knows where to send any route that we get. We have the model, he knows how um, the mongoose how the schema should look for your specific object inside the database. And we have the controller. He knows how the express routing and the database can be bound together. That's kind of the way he works. So he has both the model and the index will then ask for a specific, like in this case for the get all, it'll hit the index. Okay. Next lesson, we'll try and change this and try to understand what's actually going on. Look into Mongoose.